Ah, uh, so, so rude. <laughs> Holy look who's back at it again. Hello. You're giving Shrek with that <gasps> little you. ear pull moment you just did. Oh, thank you. And y'all can't see if you're just listening, but Steph has a green tongue. Why? Because we're back on that matcha move, honey. I know what. Oh, what are you drinking? Do I have a green tongue? Never mind. It's not green. <laughs> not green at all. <laughs> No, it's a bit. Maybe it's just coffee yellow. A nice tinge. I think. Sorry. That's hot. The light is going to. Oh. I'm drinking a vanilla latte with oat milk. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, and I'm on the matcha with oat milk. Matcha. What's the matcha with you, honey? Because I was going to get a pumpkin spice latte, but I've been having a lot of pumpkin spice lattes lately. Ooh. So I wanted to switch it up a little. I've been having a lot of dragon fruit, and let me tell you, that shit goes through you so quickly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had a dragon fruit um, the other day, full too. Full disclosure. And too much information. I just sat in the bathroom and explode it. Yeah, I'm, so I'm there. Because I was avoiding having, I bought like five dragon fruits, and I was like, I'm going to have one every morning this week, and then you were saying that, so I avoided having it. But I had one today, and I can concur that... Have some dragon fruit if you need to get the fibers going. Maybe I'll have one. <laughs> maybe. Oh, maybe. <laughs> Baby, are you excited? I am so excited. Because tonight, oh my god, I hope you have good karma. Oh, well, it's not official yet. Well, officially, I'm freaking out. Streets are saying that we'll, we'll get the streets of smoke. Our new Taylor Swift song tonight. So that's what called the Korma. Saying. If you guys Korma. saw in the music video for uh, Man, the man, the man, <laughs> uh, man, man. <laughs> period, uh, period, man. Yes, so for the uh, man music video that was on the wall written in spray paint all of Taylor's albums and then Karma. So everyone was like, Karma's the name of the next album because it was a long long theory way before that too where so. everyone thought where she had the bleached hair uh -huh. that there was a new album coming called Karma that was going to be pop punk soft rock moment. So I guess tonight might be the night. And then the fact that she made a song makes you question did the song come before the theory or did the theory come from the song? Yeah. That's the thing I think with Taylor. Like a lot of her easter eggs some of them are like premeditated, but others are just like the fans pick up on something and then she's like, What could I make this? Yeah. Which I love. It's so fun. So and I brought this up because we're going to a Taylor party. We are going to a Taylor Swift party. I still have my outfit, which I'll probably figure out after this. What Taylor are you being? I think I'm being Rep Taylor. I want a mix of rep with nineteen ninety nine with a little bit of midnight. Ooh, I'm gonna be evermore folklore Taylor <laughs> in the club with my cardigan. <laughs> She's a granny for tomorrow. Yes, I'm gonna bring my sewing needles. Oh my, my god, what did my you crochet? Say? And I'm gonna get crow gay. You said something I really want. Very speaking of, I really want us to make an underwear brand and I want us to make crochet underwear that's oh, that see through be cute. well if it's crochet you can't be see through crochet like you with the holes yeah with the holes oh that'd be cute because then I can put it on you and that will be holy oh holy, holy. matrimony daddy don't go mommy's getting um, unholy no I was gonna say yeah it was funny because we were thinking Halloween is coming up, ladies and gentlemen, and daymans, and they they if that is something that peoples, you celebrate, which you should if you're listening to this podcast. If not, I hate you. I'm kidding. No, I even don't. if you don't celebrate Halloween, you should at least let yourself like dress up like spooky a little bit. No, <laughs> even if you don't celebrate it, you should at least no, celebrate you, it. You should <laughs> at least like smudge your eyeliner, okay? Yeah. Just just so that people can see your baddie side. Yeah. <laughs> but Dion and I were like, oh, we should do like a little party moment where we invite everyone to our house. And then Dion's like, yeah. So we started thinking about the people that we're inviting. We're like, blah, 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 blah. One, two, and three. And then Dion says, oh yeah, we should start doing like a little Facebook group. Where we could invite everyone. <laughs> and what is so funny about that? Please do enlighten small. us all. For a second, for a small second in history, I felt like I was talking to my grandma. Is that not every day with me? Sometimes, yeah, I have those seconds with you every day. But I love you. I love you. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I'm talking to a fake bitch robot slut whore. And that's totally, totally true. Fine. Totally fine. <laughs> no, I love you more. I love you more, baby. You're beautiful. You always rock a turtleneck. 
I feel like your compliments are never compliments. <laughs> <laughs> no. Like it's more like when you don't like I don't know what, you're what I wear, you give a fake compliment. <laughs> I don't think so, honey. I think so. I really love that outfit on you. <laughs> it compliments your curves. <laughs> you're like, oh, green. You're my little green bean. I love when you're green. And then when did I ever call you a green bean? No, I just made that up, Dion. What? Just wanted you to know that I know. That you want me to call you a green bean? No, I know when the fake compliments are fake. Um, here's a real one. You're beautiful. You're stunning. You look like Linda Evangelista. You're a model. It's fine, You really. could walk out on that runway in a diaper and the judges would eat you. Yeah, I could walk out right now and have compliments from anyone else. So. Listen. You're so, so sweet. Your happiness and kindness shines through. And honey, what that eight ab pack do? <laughs> what that eight pack you show you? Mm. No, <laughs> but Deanna and I went to the movies twice. We've been so we many times. We had two different experiences. Yes. The first one, I was ready to stab a bitch. We were watching Don't Worry Darling. And Darling... I worried. I worried. For the <laughs> man beside us, for his lover. Because first of all... He came in hammered. Yeah, we're like, sitting down. Like, literally arrived late. are sitting down, just chatting to each other in like a quiet voice. Inside voice. As you do, you know, respect others. And this man walks in and he goes, Oh, neighbors! Hi! <laughs> and we're both like... Neighbors! We're like, hi! Uh-huh. And we knew in that moment... Yeah. We had fucked up. I knew he was going to be trouble. Like, if, if a random stranger walks up to you unannounced, like, just, I don't get it. Like, just because we're sitting next to each other, I don't care if it's in a, in it, a theater, only, yeah. I don't care if it's on a plane, do not talk to me. The only way, be, reason <laughs> because we're sitting together is because we both yes. paid for the ticket. That doesn't mean we need to be best friends. That doesn't mean we have something in common, huh? No. No. We had nothing in common. <laughs> nothing was coming watching that guy. <laughs> Because he would not shut the, the fuck The whole movie, up. yeah. Like, he was talking in the... The entire movie, I he was... was talking in the ads, and I was like, okay, he'll, like, quiet down once the movie starts. You would think. And no... Well, like, I'll forgive the first ten minutes, you know? You and your friends are maybe a bit hyper, a bit giddy in your yeah. seats. Sure. But seriously, you're gonna have a fucking date conversation the entire time? Yeah, like, he was with his friend. I, I guess it was, like, two couples, so the two guys were next to us, and the two girls were on the other side. And the two guys just kept blabbing, blabbing, blabbing. They're like, blah, 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 and moving their hands, like, arr, 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 arr. I'm like, girl, zero sense of self awareness. And they would kept, they kept cheers, cheersing their drinks every five minutes too. I'm like, why, why are you cheersing in, in the movie. movie theater while the movie's playing? It's like if you really need to be drunk in a movie theater, then just keep it to yourself. Yeah, there's other ways. I mean, I just think if you're gonna be drunk, like, and you are especially a conversationalist. Like, you want to chat when you're drunk, then be in the appropriate place. Yeah, because... Like, why go to a movie to drink if you know you're going to get chatty? Because you can't even hear what they're saying, like, what the people are saying because the movie's so loud already. Mm -hmm. So you're not enjoying your chats. No, it's like when you're in a club, like, to have a conversation. It's like, no, I came to a club to dance. Yeah. and but at least If you want to talk to... Yeah, because the music's so loud. But when you scream in the theater, it's like everyone else can hear... And we literally, like, Seb and I would just lean over. Like, <laughs> yeah, like just slow like, lean. Like, I was like, and then I would go. time now, you can shut up. I would go, shh. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, because I was like, they were right next to me. So I'm like, shh. <laughs> Who's that? that? <laughs> Did y'all hear something? But yeah, the thing is, I, would, I was leaning thing. over and I was so close at one point to be like, do you think we can actually hear the movie now? <laughs> and I just had to bite my tongue because. Me too. Well, actually, didn't you say something at the end? No, I wanted to, but I didn't because they were right next to me. I was waiting for somebody else to say something. But the thing is, mm. Canadians are so passive, so they don't say anything. I'm like, if this was Mexico, seven people would have screamed at them already, being like, shut up! But Canadians just let it happen. And I'm like, we were right next to yeah. them, so we, really didn't, we couldn't. Not very com- confrontational. Yeah, no, but everyone else was annoyed. They could have said something. But I feel like, yeah, it's really just a matter of respect. It's my biggest pet peeve when people talk in the movie theater. Like, Cause, shut up. Well, it does really ruin the movie. Yeah. Because you can't focus on the movie. Because why are you going to go to the movies if you don't want to watch the movie? Just watch it at home then. So rude. 
so so rude. But then the second time, the second we saw Smile, we saw Smile. If you haven't seen it and you like scary movies, I recommend. Like it was, it was really well done. Smiley. A lot of things, just like some scary movies these days, are very predictable. This one was not predictable at all. No, I was like on the edge of my seat, and first, like it started, and then. The seats next to us were empty, so I'm like, okay. And then these two people walk in and sit next to us. Impersonation of the smile. (laughs) Do your creepy smile. (laughs) (laughs) The two people sit next to us with popcorn, and this time was the only time that we went to the movie is that we didn't buy popcorn. And I was like watching the movie. I was very into the movie. But didn't we sneak in like a burrito or something? No, not this time. That was the other time. Oh right. But then I was like, I started watching the movie, got something to the movie, and I was like, oh shit, wait. I felt like my body was going to reach out for their popcorn without <laughs> noticing. I was like, shit, I don't want to trick myself into thinking that's Leon and Greg's yeah. on popcorn. So I like kept leaning on Leon with, on Leon with my hands like this because I didn't want to grab their popcorn. Not you accidentally um, calling me Leon. Because I was saying I'm Leon. Leon, Leon I <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, then that movie just kept shitting myself. Because it was so scary. It's I loved just the contrast between, like, because a smile is supposed to be such a happy thing. So uh, that's why. I feel like so many things in mainstream now do really well when there's a really good contrast between, like, something very sinister or twisted and something very, like, light and innocent. That's Oh, kind of like you and me. Mm. I'm light and innocent. <laughs> and you're a sinister bitch. Clearly, you've never seen my booty. Oh, why well, have? It's bright and innocent. It shines like the moon. Honey. Someone needs a little bit of sun on that booty. There's a big black hole where my heart used to be. There's a big black hole where your heart used to be. Oh, let's play a game. So we were playing this game. This game. It's back to midnight, but it was a fun game. Just to have it on record. We won't do it for every check, but for karma. What do you think it's going to sound like, Dion? Hmm. Okay. The chorus I'm for calling it in. Midnight's album by So basically Taylor what we're doing is you, before you hear the song, you know the title of it, and then you make what you think like the vocal melody is going to be kind of thing. Um, you just have to let it flow. So, let's see. Dance better. We've done, be. we've done this. We did this the other day on our date. <laughs> okay, I got it. And if you worry, and if you were worried about me catching up to you. Don't worry, karma's got you. No, I'm getting somewhere. Oh, I could see that. Yeah. And if you're worried about me catching up to you, don't worry. Uh, karma's got a kiss for you. Karma's got a kiss for you. <laughs> karma's got a kiss, kiss. No, let's, let's I see I think it's going to go like... <clears throat> A bitch don't trust karma, karma. A bitch don't trust karma. karma. <laughs> a bitch don't trust it. Karma bust it. Put it on the rhyme and let me decust it. I don't know. Oh. Um, decust isn't a word. But Something like... Karma. Thrust it. What about... Um, Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> um, while you're out, while you're out hoping I don't catch a... Karma's gotcha. Karma's gotcha. Karma's gotcha. Okay. No. So what about, what about, what about, what about, what about, what about, I know, I know. Karma, 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 karma chameleon. <laughs> or, or, wait, even better. Karma. Karma. <laughs> no, I think it's gonna be Pick up the phone. It's karma. She said she's gonna get <gasps> ya. Ooh. Pick up the phone. It's karma. She's she coming she's gonna over. Get ya. You're gonna regret ya. Uh huh. So there you have it. Our predictions. Wow. If we are right, we will be claiming the ten percent. We are owed. Or prosecuted. Maybe. Be prosecuted. <sighs> Don't know why I ever stressed. I should have trust karma. Clink. I should have trust karma. Clink. Okay. <laughs> What was that? <laughs> Wait. Have you ever been to Krispy Kreme? Yes. And were they crispy? No. Were they creamy? Right. Right. 
Um, no. Cha 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 cha. Oh my god, Jar Jar Binks. Oh, Jar Jar Binks. What was it we were talking about? No, no, it wasn't Jar Jar Binks. Mojo Jojo. Oh, I yeah. was saying Mojo Jojo because I was saying how I might be a Powerpuff Girl for Halloween. Which I've been saying for years. So I yeah, we've been saying it for years. But, but anyways, so Mojo Jojo. And I was in a room with a bunch of people who speak Spanish. And then they were all like, oh my god, no way! It's Mojo Hoja! Or whatever. There's took a spider or something behind you. <laughs> or is that a fly? Ah! It's a fly. Okay. Mojo um, Hoja? Yeah. You, how how does Spanish one say it in Spanish? Mojo Mojo and Mojo Jojo. Yeah, which explains. And I was like, oh, it makes sense. Yeah, because it makes sense to us. Because in Spanish, we uh, write J A J A J A to the Instead of ah ha ha A H A H. So yeah, and then people would always say ja 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 ja, and I was always like, why are people saying ja 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 when it's clearly ha ha ha? Well, in English. In English, it's ah ja ja ja. It's ja 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 ja. Like Mojo Jojo. Like Mojo Jojo. So for Jaja ja Binks, did you say Jaja ja Binks or Ha Ha Binks? I don't know what that is. From Star Wars. I, did you say Jaja ja Binks? Star Wars? Jaja ja Binks was like the alien looking one. E.T. phone home. It was giving E.T. I've never seen Star Wars. Okay. Well now I need I to think, know. I don't think it was my generation. You're older. It's probably Ha Ha Binks for you. Which is so funny. <laughs> I think it's Ha Ha Binks though. But it was Ma Ho Ho Ho. Java Binks? Java Binks. Is it Java Binks? Java Beans? Java Beans? Mm. It's like, <laughs> Java is like coffee, right? Yeah. Wow. I think so. <sighs> what was Do it I said that? the other day? I was like, an espresso shot. I mean, so I was like, an espresso martini? Oh. <laughs> what, what was it? An espresso cocktail? <laughs> yeah. And you were like... We were at the restaurant and the young girls. <gasps> Ooh. An espresso cocktail? I was like, <laughs> an espresso martini. I don't know why we said that. Because it's called an espresso martini. Yeah, I know what it's called. Hannah. But I did not, Hanny. Um, mm. Anyways, another thing. What's the thing? Funny story that happened. So, I kind of like, it reminded me now that I have to do it. My voicemail. Uh-huh. When people call me and I don't pee cool. It goes, hi. You did! I think, no, but that would probably be better. <laughs> My voicemail is Hi, Hi the sorry. old Seb can't Thank come to the phone, phone right man. now. Why? Why? Cause, Cause he's, he's dead. dead. No, cause he's dead. Oh, right. And I leave it there. I don't even say it. leave your name and number. And I'll get back. No, nope. he's dead. And then I forgot I to change it. And then I got another call the other day, so and it didn't said. pick you up. So, calling back. We've sent over the obituary details <laughs> and the prices for coffins. Happy all this day. <laughs> we really do send our best and hope your family can afford the funeral. So yeah, I really want to change Happy all this day, successful, thriving, grateful, manifesting, happiness, healthiness, safe, successfulness, thriving, and gratitude. I really want to change it. Two. Two. I want to change my two. Hey, this is your Bessie and a Tessie. I'm out back. Back it up. That'd be cute. Hey, this is Seb, your bestie in a Tessie. Leave your name and number and I'll call you back. <gasps> That's cute. Oh, I love that. I just, I don't have a Tesla though. Mine could be. Hey, it's Dion. If you want to put your D on me, give me a text. Yeah, that'd be good. But then people would think that you're a prostitute. Well. Which is nothing wrong with that, but maybe not the clients you want to get. Not far from the truth. <laughs> Prostitute, musician, party clown. <laughs> party many clown. talents. No. Singer, songwriter is a dream. Party clown is a reality. reality. Oh, we should watch that movie yeah. tonight. Yeah, singer, songwriter is a dream. Party clown is a reality. Oh, y'all. The government is reading my mind. Why? So. And this is going to be another one of those damn conspiracies where the freaking technology... Suggest something to you. It is. I need everybody to understand what predictive algorithm is. Yeah, but wait. No, and Dion. I need everyone Dion. to stop acting like a main character. Dion, the government... If you use devices, Dion. the devices are going to use you. Oh. Wow. That's deep. That's beautiful. <laughs> no, this one is true. I've been craving to watch Shrek 2. And not I've Shrek 1. I've been craving. Okay. Not Shrek 3. Shrek 2. Love can you love kiss that goes just like this? I've been craving watching Shrek 2. Not 1, not 3, Shrek 2. 
And did you satisfy your craving? Yeah, but before I did, I didn't say any, it to anyone. I was just like, oh, I really want to go to Shrek 2. I go on Twitter, a bunch of Shrek 2 tweets like, oh, Shrek the menu is so funny. Then, oh, the C from Shrek 2. I'm like, girl. You I said it to me. No, and then I told you. Then I was like, So oh. Alexa heard you. No, but I didn't say it at all at first. Oh. And they knew I wanted to watch Shrek. I do believe you. Like, I have had things the same where you just think about it. And then two hours later, it's on your phone. It's like, no, I don't know. I want some coffee. Is it like, is it like a matter of coincidence? No. But it could be that you're, um, you've seen an ad already a few days earlier. And then you're thinking of that thing because you subconscious thought of it or like saw it. So then your phone regurgitates it to you knowing that you're going to be thinking about it because it already showed you a few days prior or second option that explains it you're thinking about it so your phone knows on a daily basis the kind of things you think about Ew. so if you thought if you've thought about it before you've searched it before then your phone's gonna i've only you know. searched shrek nudes that's it that's all i have well, i'm kidding go. Busted. <laughs> no i think Busted, i think you're honey. onto something so listen to me listen to me linda i was on tiktok there was a song that i used on the tiktok that wasn't shrek what's that song accidentally in love and accidentally, accidentally in love. Love. Yeah. So that song we know. That reminded me of Shrek, <laughs> and then that's why I wanted to watch Shrek. I think. Ah, uh, there you go. Shrek all the events. So history. it's a classic song known because of the movie. There's your link. The missing link. Can we See, talk about the missing? I'm link? always thinking about your big, giant ass, and then I go on my Twitter, and it just pops up. Honey, that is not mine. That pops. Hose be Hoen. That is not mine. That pops. Ooh. No. Yeah, um, I think I think it might be. Honey, I don't think so. On my personal Twitter, it gets so rude. Can we talk about the missing link? What is it? So, people think mm-hmm. like you know how like there's like a homo that link is a daddy. The video game link. I would have to see him Talk with shirtless. Talk video game daddies. Who's your fave? Pit. Who's Pit? I don't think there's any video game daddies. Mr. Bowser? Nuke. Mr. Nook. Come on. Bowser? No. No, Bowser's a turtle. How about... Spider-Man? Ooh. With a Spider-Man video game? I feel like Spider-Man would be good. Because you and a Spider-Man outfit? Pretty good. But... I think, Anyways. I think the ultimate one, we all gotta say. Peach. Mm-mm. Elastigirl! <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so you know the homo sapiens? Not Elastigirl. The mom. The mom's Elastigirl, right? Yeah. Yeah. What a mommy. <laughs> <laughs> Matsu mommy, Matsu mommy. The homo sapiens, homo erectus, homo, all of those. Sure. You know those? Yeah, like pre-humans? Yeah. Well, uh, we're homo sapiens. Sapiens. You might be. I'm a homo thespian, baby. Ah! <laughs> so, there's like... What did you just call me? So, there's like these like... So, there's like one, two, three, four. They all link up. And there's one missing. And then we're here. So, they say that the Iconic missing direction. link... The missing link between the previous humans to us... Is. It's missing because we don't know who it is. Aliens. But it's aliens. The Unagis. Aliens that probed a nice looking chode. No, they sigh. Legend, the streets are sighing. Wait a minute. The streets are saying that aliens came down to Earth, joined our DNA with their DNA to create a new version of humans, which is what we are today. You have truly blown my mind. And then that explains all the pyramids. I already knew this. All the pyramids, all the hieroglyphics, everything. So you think the aliens came down, made the pyramids, then decided to, you know, dump their nut in a human and then they just peaced out? Yeah, well, I think they're still watching over us. Their planet was probably being destroyed, so they were like, we have to repopulate this planet. And we're like their little babies. And then like, they're like, but we can't breathe in this planet, so we need to mix our 
DNA with the, them to make them. And then we were like, remember, someone is <laughs> always watching. And then we were like, mm-hmm. hey, we're here. Yeah, What's up, like, girly? They're like, oh, like, oh fuck. So rude. This brings me to a quest- class question. If <laughs> you could have anyone as a missing link, who would you pick and why? Ooh. Back now? Um, but then everybody would look like that. Maybe right? Debussy? Who's Debussy? I, I was reading in a music book. I think it's like a composer. But just the fact that their name is Debussy really... Like, I feel like that should be my new TikTok name. I know. Debussy. Have you tried wearing glasses, though? Because I don't think you read that, probably. Why? It was Mozart. No. <laughs> I'm kidding. And it's Mozart, not Mustard. I didn't say Mustard. It's Mustard. That's what you sound like. I said like. Mozart. No, you didn't say that. You said Mozart. It's Mozart. It's Mozart. <laughs> Dion, just because we have different accents doesn't mean <laughs> we have to be correcting my speaking oh really yeah you correct my speaking every day yeah because you're ugly and what about it no oh. <sighs> it's been very rude oh my god what what time is it we have something very a exciting. meet and greet a meet and greet <laughs> for um, mocha's yeah babysitter mocha is not gonna be with us tomorrow we have tried everything yeah we've asked friends family and strangers like professionals um and we're really struggling to find anyone to take care of mocha yeah so, so it's a sad news because we're gonna have to get him fixed i think yeah. soon so because like in canada they won't take dogs into daycares unless they're fixed yeah mocha's not fixed which is we it's like i've wanted him to have babies which is why we didn't get him fixed and I still really want that, but I don't think it's going to happen. I mean, And he always ever... pees on the corners of the house, like, this last, like, eight months. So if we get him fixed, then he won't do that. Mm. And then also, I like, know. I feel like if we want a baby of him, like, we can just... Get another one. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, yeah. And I feel like one smoke passes away. Obviously not <gasps> soon. Don't say that! No, like, happy, healthy, safe, my baby. But, like, knowing that his lifespan is hopefully shorter than ours, um, maybe the next dog, like, we can adopt or something. Yeah, but oh, um, he's gonna live forever, Mocha. Yeah. Oh my God! Like I wish they had pills that kept dogs living forever. Oh. But to all the dogs that have moved on in life, and all the ones that shall, all the ones that shall come into our life, rest in peace. And it's cute because they heaven. say that all your pets choose you. Yeah. And then that when you pass away, they will wait for you, and then they reunite with you. I love that. So all the pets will go reunited with us. Oh, that's so sweet. I know. Can't wait to see you all up there, bestie. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's 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 always so strange, thinking of like pets that have passed, cause like you when you think of them, it's like they're still there. I know. So yeah, I I, feel, I believe that that like, they don't like w- the whole waiting thing. It's like yeah, I feel like their energy always stays with you. So, that's cute. Very cute. Very comforting. Very comforting. It's hard to talk about death, but, you know, at the end of the death. day, at the end of the day, it's it's important to just also settle into it, I feel. That helps with me not being anxious about it. And instead just being like, we all have this beautiful energy, uh, like, in us, and it exists, and the time that it exists for is how long it was meant to exist, and then when you're gone here, who knows where that energy goes? You go on to the next face of your experience exactly this, and, and only, how, this is only the human experience mm, and how, how exciting to not know you know like if, you, if you knew everything what would be the point oh no growth growth <laughs> i love you baby you're the I best love you. i i it's for me it's like nice talking about without crying because I used to not, I used to, I, I used to like not even be able to think about death without like having a whole panic attack. Yeah, I feel So that. I feel like growth is a nice thing. Yeah, I feel it's mixed for me. Sometimes I have panic attacks about that. Sometimes I don't. No. Sometimes I have anxiety attacks about rude ass hairdressers. <laughs> Do you want to tell that story or no? I was getting a haircut <laughs> and then this guy well the thing is like I brought my book because I wanted to read while I was getting the haircut but oh my god kept talking and I'm like it's like I have a book here for a reason yeah take the hint and then it's always like 
I get so uncomfortable when I'm getting my hair cut when people are talking to me that I forget the reality and I start lying to them. We've talked about this. Yes. Like, he's like, oh. <laughs> you go off on a whole tangent story yeah, that's not real. He's like, oh, where but, do you live? Like, oh, who, do you have roommates? I'm like, yeah, five roommates. I don't know why I said I had five roommates. Well, like, on a plane, you could, like, put your headphones in if you really don't want to talk to the person beside you. And at hairdressers, is it rude? Would it be rude to put in headphones? Mm, I don't know. I don't think so. Because, like, if if it came to it and it really bothers you, you could just be like, oh, sorry, like, I have anxieties, um, like, severe anxiety, and um, I'm just going to have my headphones in. Or you could say, I have listened to a podcast. So rude. Yeah, promote it. Uh, but, yeah, no. you, you could just be like, hey, I really don't like talking to people, so. <laughs> <laughs> like, I like talking to people, but, like, Sometimes I don't. No, I agree 100%. <laughs> but I feel like if I was a hairdresser, I'd be so conscious of that. Yeah, I'd be like, I feel like I'd you can feel get the, the vibes. vibes. Yeah. yeah, like if someone's not talking a lot. Because also, like, what if, yeah, what if it's like you work really, really, really long days and the only time you get to, like, be alone or relax is your hairdressing time. And all you want is to close your eyes. It's ridiculous. It's rude. It's like, mm. let me. Like, I'm paying for this service. If I don't want to talk and hear your life story... Yeah, or ask me, because sometimes I don't want to share my life story. I hate that too, yeah. Oh, I hate when it's a guy, and they're like, oh, I've got this girl for you, bro. Yeah. Or like, I had this haircut with this one guy once, and he was like, oh, I'm from this country. Look at all these beautiful women from, from my country, and I think I can get one of them for you. And I was like, what is going on right yeah, now? Yeah, no, one time I was in an Uber, and the same thing happened. He's driving me. Because we were, like, I think I was meeting you in Dominican Republic. And then, like, your family and everyone Oh, was yeah, you there. were so uncomfortable. And I'm in this Uber, and then the guy's like, Yeah, oh, do you want some cocaine or some prostitutes? I can get you both. Look at these girls. I'm like, thanks. I think neither. And not interested. Do you have a Thank piece of debit you. Good <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, I'm scared to say that I'm gay because I'm in the middle of nowhere. Uh-huh. And he just offered cocaine and prostitutes. I'm like, what else? Like, what could he, like, he could be like, oh, or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I hate it when they're, when it's like, oh, bro, so you, you got a girl? And I'm like, well, now I'm not going to tell you I'm gay because you're going to fuck up my hair because you're probably homophobic. Yeah. <laughs> like, they could be like, do you, are you dating anyone? Or also, why is that your business? Yeah, true. Like, Anyways, this wasn't match made in heaven. So I'm getting my hair cut and the guy grabs a gray hair and goes, <gasps> Uh oh, and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> Ooh, I have a bunch. Looks like you're in trouble. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I have a bunch. Ha. And then he goes, people get gray hair all ages. He goes, I'm just getting mine, and I'm 46. I'm like, but that's so stupid. Like, why would you say I'm that high. to a client? Like, yeah, I'm like, people yeah. get gray hair all ages. You can get gray hair at 16. Yeah, and it, it doesn't matter. Why would you point it out? Unless someone's like, oh, look at my gray hair. Yeah. This is what I want to do with it. Because I don't or, mind it, but like, imagine like, like that was my biggest insecurity or something. Or imagine life. like you're so excited for it to all go gray, like it's actually something you're excited about. You know? Uh-huh. And this person just reading you. Yeah. It's like, sorry that you couldn't rock the silver fox, <laughs> but I know I can. I love you. I love you more. Cheers. Cheers. To another successful episode. To another successful so rude. episode. We love you all so much. Thank you, as always, for watching. Thank, Thank you so much you to our demonetized besties. What's up? You are here on the screen. We love you. And our rainbow clown besties. Oh, ayo. Thank you for the support over on our Patreon. Last but not least, our Sebastian Collector. Love you, bestie. Love you all so much. You can go over to Patreon to get... One of a kind Polaroids, cute DMs from us, more cute gifts, treats and stuff, and full episodes of this podcast. So, we'll see you there every Friday. See you next week. Bye! Bye-bye! Uh, so, so rude. rude. <laughs> <laughs>